are many reasons why I talk a lot about mental health. And those who have been subscribed to my channel already know those reasons, but there are new subs on my channel, so we're gonna talk about some deep shit today. McQueen. This video came across my homepage and I have to react to it. McQueen uploaded a video called I almost committed suicide two nights ago. Period. At the end. Now you know this is some deep shit because this is actually him sitting down talking to us. So as I'm reacting, I will also be sharing my experiences. So we're gonna dive right in. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. What's good out the force? Um, I know it's a very shocking title, but um, it is nonetheless the truth. I don't want to make this video too long, but um, as a lot of y'all know, I'm, I've always been very open with y'all. I'm not ashamed to, you know what I'm saying, talk about the you know struggles that I go through. And I just wanted to make this video because I felt heavy on my heart. And it's been bugging me a lot, and I just feel like something was really telling me to share this with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because cause hopefully it can help a lot of y'all know before saying, or just anybody who may need it. A lot of y'all might already know this, but um, I have clinical depression, if you may have not known. And I've been taking medicine for it for the past three and a half years. And uh, okay. as of recently, I have been off of it for two and a half months. In the Okay, so he's been taking meds for three and a half years. Something you need to know about depression is that depression can last days or it can last many years. I struggled with depression throughout my life and in my 20s, I probably struggled with it about two to three years. I'm currently clinically depressed, also clinically diagnosed with anxiety, which is pretty typical uh, for those two to, to be diagnosed together. But currently, this has been my longest depression. I've been depressed for four years now. I refuse to take meds. A lot of those meds have really bad side effects that I am not interested in getting to know about. And that's including suicidal thoughts, okay? I already get suicidal thoughts, okay? Now taking those meds might actually enhance that. And I'm scared for that to happen. I don't know what brain's gonna do on those meds. The reason why they ask you to take medication is just to balance out the chemical imbalance in your brain. So once that balance starts to happen, you still have to put in the work to make yourself better because medication is not a cure. It's just treatment. McQueen has been off his meds for a couple months now and that can be dangerous because his brain is accustomed to taking those medications. So being off of it can be scary. Yes, I you know, have never been able to go past like three and a half days without me feeling heavy withdrawals and side effects. And recently I've been learning to get in touch with my higher self and meditating and becoming closer to God and you know, a lot of other things that have been helping me substitute for whatever the depression pill was helping with. And it was working good. It was working good for uh, maybe a month and a half, uh, almost two months, and, and then out of nowhere, recently it's just like, if there's anybody out there that has depression, you understand that when you are having a low, everybody has their lows, but when you have depression it's and you deep. hit a low, it's like the whole world is on top of your fucking head. Rock the whole bottom. World just, it's just, you get your, you are beyond low, nigga. You are at rock bottom. And rock it's not a place to be at all, you know? And I have absolutely no reason to be sad. You know, I have no reason to be sad, you know? Sometimes our lives is going perfect. It's going just fine. It's just your brain is just fucking with you. And that is due to the chemical imbalance. It's a mental illness. You're sick. But when you do hit those lows, it's, it's so extreme, y'all. It's so extreme to the point where it's like, one day you're perfectly fine, the next day is like, I don't want to be here anymore. I get you. I'm blessed. I have money. I have a roof over my head. I have a very strong coke family. The Alpha Force. All my family is healthy. You know, I'm healthy. You know, things are looking up. It's a lot of things that I'm very blessed and thankful for, you know. But why is it that I still feel this way? Why is it that I'm still having these thoughts? I, I, don't, I couldn't tell you. For people who have depression, you understand that it is out of your control. It really is completely out of your control. So you might already be asking, like, McQueen, what is it that she was upset about? And, uh, you know, I'm a very deep person. I'm very emotional. I'm very sensitive um, in a lot of ways. Not the certain ways where it's like you a bitch-made nigga, but it's more just like I'm sensitive to energy. That's why I don't hang out with people. I'm sensitive when it comes to my work. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to making y'all laugh, man. Making making you guys laugh and making the world laugh just makes me absolutely... It's the, it's, 
It's better than sex to me. And when I feel like I'm not able to do that at the highest level, at the potential that I know that is inside of me, that really just makes me sad. It makes it make it, it brings me to such a low point. The depression. I can actually relate to that. My depression comes from experiences in life that really brought trauma. So I have a little bit of PTSD, and also the main reason is I don't know what my purpose is in life. Sometimes, why am I living? I feel like life is boring. What is there to live for? I'm here for a purpose. What is the purpose? I'm still trying to search for that. That can bring me down just thinking about why haven't I reached my purpose yet? How, why can I not figure this out? You're really in your head. And just like him, I'm sensitive too, y'all. I consider myself to be an empath. I can feel people's energy right away. And I am an introvert. I, I stay away from people as much as I can. So the more I'm alone, the more energized I am. At the same time, the more I'm alone, I'm more lonely. So it doesn't help. <laughs> it does not help sometimes. It, it puts me in a state of mind where I cannot be creative at all. I'm just thinking nothing but negative thoughts. And the way the universe is rigged is that if you are thinking negatively, you are going to attract negative. And it puts me in such a dark place. And because of that, I cannot create for you guys. I cannot do, you know, what I want to do. I can't bring out the greatness that I know is inside of me. You know, and that really makes me fucking sad. It makes me so fucking sad to the point where I just don't want to be here no more. You know, one thing that I've been taught growing up was to never give up. You know what I'm saying? My mom and my parents always drilled that shit into my head. Like you wasn't even allowed to say the phrase give up. And I'm just, I've always lived by that for sure. You know what I'm saying? And like, I know a lot of y'all can see that. And like I said, I've been off for two and a half months. And for a while, I did not see any, you know, withdrawals at all. Like I said, I, I usually after three days, I start freaking out. So, you know, I felt like with the meditation and the prayer and all the other things that I've been doing self-care wise, you know, has been substituting and I felt like I was finally free of the medicine. After right. two and a half months, it really just smacked the hell out of me. Yes, like boy. I, I couldn't even control the I get you. anymore. It was literally out of my control and I'm a very strong person. I get you. That shit literally slaps you in the face. The way I deal with things is by keeping busy. I just keep myself physically busy, mentally busy. And then the one day that I have off and I have nothing to do, I crash. I am mentally and physically and emotionally drained to the point where my depression just slapped me in the face. And so that's when I know that if I can't control it, it's just something you know that is just like I need I need actual help. And for the first time in my life, when it came to my craft and my dreams and everything, I have never in my life said the phrase I give up and I still technically didn't say it verbally but mentally I gave up you know mentally I was done I did not want to be here anymore I woke up the other day and I was just it was just the the thoughts were so toxic and it was just putting me in such a dark place where I was literally just like if, if it's this hard to be happy I don't want to be here no more I was crying bawling my eyes out man just you know completely just out of character out of, out of control I've had suicidal thoughts plenty of times before but I never listened them to the extent that I did this time and that's what was really scary and before I called for help I actually walked into the kitchen and I picked up a knife and I looked at it and I really was like I really want to do it for the first time ever in my life I truly did not want to be here no more and when I was saying those things it was really scary because I truly meant it in that moment and that's when I knew I had to do something about it my bad y'all my camera died you know what I'm saying? I had to switch to the phone but I really felt that this was posted a week ago and he almost committed suicide two nights before that he is still depressed okay he most likely is still having suicidal thoughts Maybe not necessarily to the point where he would actually attempt it, but he's still right there. It doesn't just go away like that. It will gradually go away as the days pass on and the more work you put into it or get back on the meds as well. So I'm feeling for you, McQueen. I'm really hoping that you're back on your meds or getting the help that you need. And I hope you are surrounding yourself with people that you love. Just to relate to his story, I've had suicidal thoughts every now and then but never to the point where i actually want to leave this planet it's not on a regular like that i did contemplate suicide on my 22nd birthday that was the first time and then my second time i actually did suicide planning last year the second one was a lot more scarier than the first one only because 
I really was ready to go. Just like him, knowing that you really are going to do it, like this is it, this is what I'm gonna do. It's scary. And for us to have that fear means that we really don't want to go, but our brain is telling us that it's time to go. As I was saying, man, for the first time I had picked up a knife and I really, in that moment, said to myself, I did not want to be here. And thank God that I didn't have the balls to actually do something. And that brings me back to the whole point of making this video. That is that I simply wanted to push this out to let y'all know that no matter what it may look like on the outside to y'all, it may look like this happy life, it may look like McQueen just has everything he wants, and I do, you know what I'm saying? I have a, I'm very, very blessed, and I'm very thankful for everything I have. But I want y'all to know, if any of you guys look up to me, if I'm your favorite YouTuber, your favorite entertainer, whatever it may be, I want you to know that the person you guys look up to almost killed himself. You know what I'm saying? I also have very, very lows. I also have depression. I also feel like giving up. I hit those points. He's human. Know? And I want you he to is know human. that you are simply not alone. I want you to remember that I am human just like you, and I go through these things. And um, here's a little picture um, that literally describes exactly who I am. I'm the type of person that I... I when you know you're destined for greatness, your potential haunts you. It keeps you up at night. You won't feel complete until you succeed. Know that I have greatness inside of me. I have a, a certain person inside of me that I want right. to reach. And if it's anything less than greatness, I don't want. And I think about those things every day, every night. Like it says in this picture, those types of things will haunt you until you become that person. And I'm very, very passionate about what I do. And if I'm doing anything less than what I'm supposed to be doing to get to that greatness, I become very, very upset mm -hmm. and very depressed. So I did get back on my medicine, and I want y'all to know that you are not weak if you have depression. You are not. People who struggle with depression or any other type of mental illness is actually one of the strongest people around. You may be a person who is struggling because you are always battling with other people. They're always attacking you, they're bullying you, whatever that may be. But people with mental illnesses, you're... <laughs> Your worst enemy is yourself. You are literally fighting yourself in here. While everyone is laughing and joking all around you, you are in your head and there is no one in this world that can help save you. And if you're able to, to win your battles every single time, you are a strong motherfucking person. It actually makes you strong if you're able to admit that you have depression, if you're able to admit that you're that you are sad if you're able to admit that you have emotion. Anybody who makes fun of you for being depressed, anybody who makes fun of you for being sad, anyone who makes fun of you for being open with your emotions is actually an insecure, weak-ass nigga. These are very insecure people and they care too much about what others might think about them if they was to be open with their emotions or whatever it may be. And if you ask me, that is a weak-ass nigga. You can still be very headstrong, you can still be very passionate, you can still be everything you want to be, and also be open with your emotions at the same time. Anybody who tells you different is a fucking weirdo. And I feel like- And I'm glad that he is speaking on that in his video because unfortunately, men have it the hardest. Men are raised not to talk about their feelings, not to admit that they're feeling sad, not to admit that they're feeling defeated. Because in the, in the world of man, that should never exist. I'm a perfect representation of that. Um, no matter what the fuck I go through, giving up is just not in my blood. It's not an option, you know? And I hope that this video and my words can encourage you guys to never give up on your dreams or your passions or whatever it is that you want to pursue in this life, too. I don't give a fuck if it's quarantine. You can make your dreams happen. If you're able to dream, if you're able to imagine yourself in the place you want to be in life, you can manifest. It. Like I said, man, I don't want to make this video too damn long, but um, I just wanted to tell you guys this because, like I said, it was heavy on my heart. I feel like I wanted to share with y'all because, you know, I hope that it can encourage you guys and put a smile on your face or, you know what I'm saying, just make you feel like you have some type of hope because I know a lot of people are struggling because of this quarantine. It's very hard to ignore what is going on in this fucked up world, so that can weigh down on our minds a lot and... I know a lot of you guys look for, to me for, you know, your release. I know a lot of you guys look to me as your escape from reality. And I love being that person for you guys. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to touch on one last point. And uh, the reason why I haven't been really feeling like I'm, you know, tapping into the person that I know is in here is because I've been doing content that is just not me. It's out of my character, you know. 
For example, this fucking boat video I just posted, man. I love making videos for you guys, but like I said earlier in the video, man, I like making videos that I think is fucking funny. I like making videos that make me fucking happy because I right. set very high standards for myself. And I know that if I meet those standards and it makes me happy. This is a time when you gotta stop living for other people and start living for yourself. Y'all think I don't see them hate comments in my videos? Of course I see them. But I'm not living my life for you. I'm not going to say the things that you want to hear. That's not gonna make me happy and I'm sorry, but my happiness comes before any stranger watching this video. You're not gonna save my life if I, if I decide to put a gun to my head. So why would I worry about what I'm going to say for what? To make you happy? No. So you guys can keep putting in your hate comments under my videos and I will keep hearting it. <laughs> Y'all must be crazy if you think that you have full control of my life. Uh-uh. And it makes me laugh that I know for a fact that you guys are going to enjoy. All these videos with bitches and you know, this boat and you know, all that shit is not fucking me. At the end of the day, I can give a fuck about any of those bitches on that goddamn boat. I just be trying to make lit videos, you know what I'm saying? So whatever idea comes to my head, I just feel like, oh, that's lit. They would like it, so let me put it out. But at the end of the day, that was actually very hard for me to put out that video. Because that was just not me at all. Being around a bunch of bitches that I don't give a fuck about. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, bunch of bitches. That's not in my character at all. I know a lot of you guys that have grown with me also saw that. So with that being said, man, um... I'm going to go back to my roots. What I mean by that is I'm going to go back to my pickup line videos. I'm going to really go hard on them. I'm going to be dropping one every week, if not every week and a half, because it's hard to get good reactions, especially with this with, you know what I'm saying, shit going on. People are barely outside, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going right. to be just going crazy on the pickup line videos. And I hope that, you know what I'm saying, you guys can take me seriously when I say that. And uh, I want you guys to be expecting them every week or every week and a half or Good so. For you. And I hope that you guys could be here to support me when I drop these videos, man, because I really want to hit this million subscribers. I know you guys want to see me hit a million subscribers. And just beyond that, too. Yeah, man. I hope you, know, you reach your goal. Like before I started going on with those videos, I wanted to share this with you guys. I hope I touched on everything, man. Um, we'll see when I edit this video. Another <laughs> switch of the camera. My fault. Yeah, man. Damn, I want what? you guys to know it is okay to be sad. It is okay to be depressed. It is okay to have low times. It is okay to have low points, man. There is nothing wrong with it. You are not fucking weak. But what is wrong or crazy. with it? You're not crazy. Okay? Is letting that stop you from going after your dream. We don't fucking give up over here. And you better not fucking give up. Because I want to be a big ass example for you guys, man. That's another reason why I'm telling you all about this shit. Because when I'm up there, nigga, when I'm gone, when I'm at the top, <laughs> I want y'all to be able to look back at this video and be like, wow, there is someone out there that I look up to, that I like, that I enjoy his yeah. entertainment. And he has depression, and he still made it to where he made it. Because I'm going to. And I know a lot of y'all believe that, and I know y'all know that already. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. Be very kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. Don't beat yourself up for being sad, for being depressed, whatever it may be. Take that time. Allow yourself to feel those emotions, okay? Right, right, right. Don't try to grip onto them because it's just going to make things worse. Let the yourself feel them. Let yourself be where Good advice. Human beings are supposed to feel emotion. But Good advice. But everything okay. passes, man. Hard times always pass. Nothing lasts forever. Do not make a permanent solution to a temporary problem because things do get better, problems do get solved, but if you decide to take yourself out of this planet, you would never know that. I know a lot of people don't understand why people do commit suicide. They find it to be a selfish thing because in their minds that they're thinking, do you not care about your loved ones, what you're gonna leave behind? Do you not care that they're gonna suffer if you were to, to make that decision? I get that, but also understand what we're going through. It is being selfish, yes. We're finally thinking about ourselves because if we don't wanna be here, I, I'm not gonna stay for anybody. So yes, I'm going to be selfish and I'm gonna put myself first and leave. This is the mentality that someone goes through when contemplating suicide or having suicidal thoughts. So just have an understanding of what a person is going through. You can't fix their depression. All you can do is just be there for them physically, emotionally, mentally. Just show them that you love them. Show them that you're around, that they are loved. That's all you can really do. Okay, there will be brighter days. You just have to believe it, okay? Like I said earlier in the video, the way the universe is rigged is that if you think positive, you will attract positive. If you are in a negative mindset, you will attract nothing but negative. Just trust me. Try it. I know it's hard, but just try it. Regardless, I love you guys to death, Aquaforce. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this journey. It's four and a half years 
of me being on this goddamn platform. I love you guys to death, man. I'm truly blessed to have you guys. And, you know, I'm going to continue to keep putting out the content that I know that I can produce. The best Good. content that you guys deserve. And I just hope that you guys can support me, you know, on the rest of our way to a million and beyond that. So. And they will. And they will. And those that don't, it's okay. Because others will. Keep doing your thing. If this video helped you out, which I hope it did, hit the like button, man. Share it with someone that you might feel needs it. Record an Instagram story of a part that might have spoke to you. And put it on your Instagram story and tag me on it so I can share it. And end off this video. And I'm going to be back with the bangers very soon. Okay, I love you guys to death, man. I'll see y'all later. I am very happy that McQueen decided to come out on video to talk about his experience with depression. I, I will eventually share my story on my suicide contemplation and my suicide planning. I just don't want to do it in this video because I really wanted to hear what McQueen went through with his experience. I hope his video helped anyone with depression, anyone who was battling with mental illnesses, and I hope my video helped as well. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.